In this Figma tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create frames. So unlike other design programs, Figma starts with an entirely blank canvas. There's no artboard, there's no frame already out here, and there's two different tools that seem like the same thing, rectangles and frames. Rectangles are really creating a vector shape. A frame contains some of the same type of properties as a rectangle, however it allows you to do more with it. So if we come over here, and we find in our toolbar this little hash icon, or like numeric symbol. That's the frame tool. The shortcut key is F, and that's one I would recommend you learn. Now on the right hand side, before we even draw a frame, we actually have some frame uh, presets. And these presets come in many different sizes. So if you wanted a phone preset, you could do like the iPhone 14. And in fact, you could just click that and it's gonna create a frame out here. Now outside of the presets, we can press F for our frame tool, and we can create a frame any shape or size that we want just by clicking and dragging. So I've created two frames out here, and you notice that they have white backgrounds. That's because if I press V for the selection tool and select one of these frames, on the right-hand side, we'll see all the different properties of the frame. And one of those properties is fill. And with the fill, we could click on it and change the color of this frame. We could even adjust the transparency to make the frame completely transparent. Now the reason this is different than a rectangle is because frames can contain things inside of them. So if we dropped an image in here, we could see it inside of this frame. We would actually see it in our layers panel dropped underneath, almost like a group. The frame is very similar to a group of, or a group of elements, the higher folder structure of all the elements that go below it. It also will clip contents. So if anything goes outside the frame, it'll clip it to the frame. It also has auto layout, which is a very important feature and there's tutorials on that. We won't get into auto layout in this one. This is just all about frames. Now a few of the other properties over here, you've got your X and your Y coordinates. So where this frame is positioned in your document on your canvas, you've got your width and your height right here. You can also round the corners or adjust the corner radius. You can click and drag on the icons to adjust right here. So like I said, frames seem similar to rectangles, but they have more features to them. You can adjust the angle of the frame here, or the rotation, quickly switch between horizontal and vertical. You can also adjust individual corners and you can lock the proportions or constrain the proportions. And then as with most objects, you can come down here, add fills, add strokes, add effects, and even add an export preset to that frame. So before you were to export this frame, you would have to add this export preset and select one of these options to export that frame. And one last thing is, yes, you can have frames within frames. So that's really part of building out components and such here in Figma. But if you had a component frame, that had objects in it, you'll notice over here in the Layers tab, like I said before, the top or uppermost frame is like the folder structure, and then we have a frame inside of that. And if we give this frame that's inside of it a little fill color of red so we can see it, we'll notice as we drag it outside of the larger frame one, it does clip that contents. And you can see it out here. And as you drag it too far, it'll just pop it out here. And if you hold space bar while you drag this, you can actually drag it outside of the frame completely without actually dragging it outside of the frame, if that makes sense. So you can have elements that are outside of the frame, but still contained within the frame. So if you had anything like animation coming in, that would still retain its place within the frame without actually being outside of it. But there you go, a little bit about creating frames here in Figma.